What is going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and today we're going to be looking at the top 10 Udemy courses for data analysts. I absolutely love the Udemy platform. I think it is fantastic. I love it so much because I don't have to pay a monthly subscription. I can just pay for that one course that I actually want to take. And typically you can get every course that we're going to look at today for around 10 to $15. If you are interested in any of the courses that we look at today, there will be links in the description. So you can go and check those out for yourself. With that being said, let's jump into it and look at our first course. Now, before we look at our first course, I want to say that these are in order of how I would take them. So the very first course is the first course that I would recommend taking at the beginning. And the course that we look at, at the end, I would take last. Now, the first three courses that we're going to look at are all SQL based. The first one is SQL Server. The next one is PostgreSQL. And the last one is MySQL. Now, I could talk about the differences between each type of SQL, but I will save that for another video. Let's get started with our very first course, which is a SQL Server course. Now in this course, you're going to be going over SQL, but you're also going to be going over something called T-SQL. Now, if you don't know what that is, it is a type of SQL called Transact SQL, and it is native only to Microsoft SQL Server. T-SQL is something that I picked up early on in my career and it has been extremely helpful. I highly recommend learning it. Let's look at some of the things that you're going to learn in this course. In this course, you're going to learn how to create and alter your tables. You're going to learn the very basics of the select from where group by having an order by. Those are the very basics that everybody should know how to use. It's also going to go into some of the more intermediate things like unions, case statements, and merges, and then into some things that I would consider a little bit more advanced like subqueries, CTEs, pivots, UDFs, applies, things like that that are a little bit more advanced. When I got my very first job as a data analyst and learned that they use SQL Server, this is the course that I took, and I definitely think it helped me get up to speed and learn all the stuff that I need to know for my job. The second SQL course that we're going to look at is the Complete SQL Bootcamp 2020, Go From Zero to Hero, a very popular course on Udemy. One thing to note and something that you'll see across the board on Udemy is that these prices are extremely inflated. It says $174.99. You can go and get a coupon or wait for one of their sales and get this for around $15. And that is for any course that you see on Udemy. So do not pay the full price. If you are seeing that, please pay the discounted price. It is much, much cheaper. This course is going to go into the basics as well, the select from where, group by, order by, all of those things, as well as some of the more intermediate topics. It says advanced on here, but it is more the intermediate things around subqueries and joins. And along the way, they have these assessment tests where he actually tests you on these things where you can take a break, actually work through a problem and see if you really know it, and then you move on to the next section. That's something that I liked about this course. You can kind of break away from all the learning that you're doing and actually take a little quiz or test and make sure that you know the information that you're taking in. The third SQL course is MySQL for Data Analytics and Business Intelligence. Now, I really, really liked this course specifically for the business intelligence piece. The MySQL stuff is gonna go into a lot of the same things that we saw in the past two courses, the basics, the intermediate stuff, but this one specifically combines it with the business intelligence. So let's look at some of the things that you're gonna learn in this course. Like I said, you're going to go through all the basic and the intermediate SQL things like we talked about in the previous courses, but this course specifically is going to show you how to combine SQL and Tableau together so you can build those visualizations with the data that you're actually looking at and working with in SQL. The fourth course is going to be a data visualization tool, and this one is going to be Power BI. And I absolutely love Power BI. That's what I use at work. And for this course specifically, it's going to take you all the way from connecting a database to building those beautiful dashboards. And so let's get into what you're going to learn in this course. I think what you're seeing right here is a perfect representation of what you're going to learn in this course, which is you're going to learn time series, aggregation filters, maps, scatter plots, interactive BI dashboards, and creating an interactive business intelligence report. And these things are extremely important to learn. So if you do not know how to do these things currently and you want to learn how to do it, this is probably the course that I would recommend the most. The fifth course is going to be building interactive dashboards with Tableau. Tableau and Power BI are probably the two most popular business intelligence tools. So let's look at what this course has to offer. Now, this course specifically is around building dashboards. So if you want to get into a job or you already have a job where you are building a lot of dashboards, this is going to teach you a lot of the fundamentals of the very common dashboards that you're probably going to be using and creating. Dashboards like tactical, operational, analytical, and ad hoc dashboards all have their own flavor and their own variety. And so it's very important to know the difference and it helps you learn how to build dashboards all along the way. The sixth course that we're gonna look at is Microsoft Excel Advanced, the data analysis tools you need. Now, when I got my first data analyst job, this is the very first course that I took on anything Excel related because I really wanted to up my skill level in terms of creating pivot tables and using VLOOKUP and other things that I really just had no idea about. So let's look at some of the things that this course will teach you. In this course, you'll learn things like HLOOKUPs, VLOOKUPs, and macros, which are all really good to know. And then you can use slicers to actually filter your data. 
Now, I get asked all the time, what do I need to know in Excel to become a data analyst or to be a data analyst? And I think that if you take this course and you learn everything that's in it, you should be set for just about any data analyst job. Now, the next three courses are all Python related. The first one is very focused on data analysis where the next two are not. So this one that I'm about to show you is one that I highly recommend taking and the next two are kind of optional. But let's look at our very first Python course and our seventh course overall, which is Python for Data Science and Machine Learning Bootcamp. And if you notice, this one is also by Jose Portilla. Let's look at some of the things that you will learn in this course. I am actually going to walk through each thing that you're going to learn in this course because I think that this course is so fantastic. The very first thing is you're going to learn about Jupyter Notebooks, very, very good skill and tool to learn. You're going to do a very quick Python crash course, which is just the very basics of Python that you need to know just to get started. Then you're going to go into a few specific skills, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. All of these skills are extremely important to know. I use a lot of these in my actual job, and so I know how important they can actually be. I use pandas a lot, and that is one of the things that I tell people to learn first when they're actually learning Python. Then you're gonna learn Plotly and Cufflinks and geographical plotting before you get to the Data Capstone Project. The Data Capstone Project is just a very quick project, basically going over the things that you learned and just having you redo them. The project was actually pretty simple if you were walking through the course, because it basically was a different version of the things that you had already learned, but you had to put them all together and you had to figure it out. So for me, really helpful. You know that I personally love projects, and so highly recommend doing the projects in this course. The very next thing in this course is a little bit on machine learning. Now, you may not use machine learning or need to know machine learning at all, but I think that is extremely important just to know some of the terminology and how some of these things are used. So some of the things that you're going to learn about machine learning are things like linear regression, cross-validation and bias variance trade-off, logistic regression, k-nearest neighbors, decision trees, random forest, support vector machines, k-means clustering, principal component analysis, recommender systems, NLP, neural nets, deep learning, big data, and Spark with Python. And I know I just threw a ton of things at you. If you do not recognize a lot of those things, that's totally okay. It's a lot of machine learning stuff that a lot of data analysts are not gonna use at all. But I do recommend going through them. It is not a super in-depth course when it comes to the machine learning part. It is a very high level and just gives you an introduction into each of those concepts. So I recommend going through that just in case you wanna go into data science or just in case somebody around you is talking about it, you can be educated and know a little bit about that topic as well. The eighth course is another Python one, is the complete Python scripting for automation. I am a big believer in automating any work that you can automate. And so this was a very good course that I took. Let's look at some of the things that you'll learn in this course. I'm gonna be honest, the descriptions that this guy wrote out for this course were not extremely helpful, but the basic things that you're gonna be learning are centered heavily around files and automating all those processes. So moving and organizing your files, as well as reading in files to your database and automating that entire process. Our ninth course and the next Python course is one that is extremely popular, is automate the boring stuff with Python programming. You can even get this one for free sometimes. It is so popular. Sometimes they just give it away for free. And it is a fantastic course to take, especially if you were just starting out with learning how to automate things. Let's look at some of the things that you're gonna learn in this course. I think this description is perfect for what you're gonna learn in this course. You're gonna learn things like automating tasks on your computer by writing simple Python programs. You're gonna learn things like generating and updating Excel spreadsheets. You're gonna learn how to crawl the web and pull information from online sources. You'll write a script that will send out emails for you automatically. You'll be able to write a script that controls your mouse and keyboard and clicks and types for you. And one of my personal favorites, one that I think saves me the most time in my actual job, which is writing a program that sends out email notifications. I actually use that all the time in my job because I hate sending out reports every month or every week. I like to automate that stuff, and Python is a fantastic way to do that. For our 10th course, it's Statistics for Data Science and Business Analysis. I get asked all the time, what do I need to know in terms of math and statistics in order to be a data analyst? This course is for you. Please take this course and stop asking me, what statistics do I need to know? What math do I need to know? This answers all of it. If you take this course and you learn everything that's in here, you should be set and even a little bit more than set in order to be a data analyst. Let's look at some of the things that you're gonna learn in this course. You're gonna learn things like distributions, inferential statistics, hypothesis testing, and regression analysis. And if you haven't learned this already, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Regression analysis is extremely important, so you should definitely, definitely learn that skill. Now, I know this is a top 10 video, but there were just too many good courses on Udemy. I had to include a few bonus ones 
These next two are two cloud platforms that you can learn, AWS and Azure. This is one of the very first courses that I took when I was learning AWS, and this is AWS Certified Data Analytics Specialty 2020 Hands-On. Let's look at some of the things that you're gonna learn in this course. You're gonna learn things like data storage in S3 and DynamoDB. You'll also learn MapReduce, and you'll also learn how to process the data with Lambda and Glue ETL. The second bonus course is Microsoft Azure Beginner's Guide plus AZ900, updated 2020. AZ900 is the actual certification exam that you can take if you wanna become certified in Azure. So let's look at some of the things that you're gonna learn in this course. You're gonna learn things like Azure Virtual Machines, Azure Data Storage, and then you're gonna go into a lot more of the products that you'll actually use as a data analyst. Things like Databricks, Azure Data Factory, and Azure SQL Server. And this kind of gives you just a brief overview of how they were used and how you will use them as a data analyst. Udemy was the very first platform that I ever went to to learn anything about data analysis. That's because it was affordable and it was cheap and it was something that I could absolutely take without any huge money commitment. And so I genuinely hope that these courses will be helpful for you as much as they were for me when I was first starting out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you wanna support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.